tree. They strung up a man, they say he murdered three. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree. They say racism is dead, yet they say I'm pretty for a black girl, as if the only way black can be beautiful is if it's mixed with white. And they say racism is dead. They say racism is dead, but the obvious disgust is prominent after you hear my parents speak, as if their accents determine their intelligence. And they say racism is dead. They say racism is dead, yet my 10-year-old cousin feels the need to straighten her hair to be seen as beautiful. And they, say racism is dead. they say racism is dead, but it's almost as if my last name represents this box that I'm encased in with the rest of my identity and the rest of my people. And they say racism is dead. They say racism is dead, yet they clutch their valuables when an Aboriginal man comes too close. And they say racism is dead. And it's a little ironic, you see. I am mocked and made fun of for being me, but others can spend time and money in attempts to be more than what the eye can see. On me, it is absurd, but on you, on you it is loud, it is bold, and it is beautiful. You are heard, you are urban, you are unique, but I'm just a fob like freak who has stepped on and walked over. Now, some will be offended by these words we speak. Well, maybe they should be, but hey, but hey they, they say racism is dead. dead. No, racism isn't dead. It has just become better at hiding its tracks so that when you say you feel attacked, they can say it's all in your head. But when the noise gets too loud and I can't hear myself think, that's when my grandmothers call to me, asking me to tell their stories about the days in Africa, to the days on boats, to the days oppressed so hard they could not stand, to the days some called freedom, to escaping that freedom and coming to the West once again. I want to yell, let my people go. But they all say, racism is dead. But, but it, it don't matter what you see, see, see it only matters who I be. And don't get me started on how I'm the blackest kid in 30 IB. And don't get me started on that self-hating girl I used to be. And don't get me started on how I am perceived as just another loudmouth minority because you don't know me. <laughs> notions of what I'm supposed to be like. Aesthetically appealing and artificial, handcrafted molds used to bend and fold humanity. Now. We've reached a point where we begin to normalize deviance, where our thoughts and perceptions are manipulated by the biased theatrical deception portrayed by the media. I am smart. I am eloquent. I am articulate. Thank you. Thank you. 